remember talking maybe three or four years ago with some of our friends, and they were just complaining. Like it was some guy that used those templates in C++, and the code was so complicated, no one understood it. You just had to rip it out and you know, you not use it. So do you think it changed the I mean, in the meantime, so that tech people actually know when to use it and do use it, or is it still esoteric and you know, complicated? Um, there are extremely esoteric uses of templates in C++, and there are people that love doing it. Um, I, I wouldn't do very much of that in production code. Um, I think as long as there's new people coming into a language, you, you get clever people doing really, really clever things with any uh, significant, um, uh, what's it called, uh, language <coughs> feature. Uh, you see the same with with class hierarchy design and use of uh, metadata and things like that. And sometimes you just have to rip it out. Um, for, for things that are meant to be shipped, uh, I, I recommend caution. I recommend looking at the STL as a set of uh, techniques that, that is widely understood in the uh, community. Um, and uh, <coughs> there's lots of non-esoteric and successful uses. Uh, that said, um, various forms of generic programming and template metaprogramming have been spectacularly successful in C++, with the result that people have been pushing the envelope. And one of the aims of C++ OX is to provide better support so that you don't have to be quite that clever uh, to do good work uh, with templates and that the language protection against sillinesses and uh, the quality of error messages uh, are improved. Uh, similarly, there will be features uh, for shortening the amount of work, uh, amount of type, uh, text you have to write. So my guess is that I, I know there has been all uses. I expect there will be all uses uh, for, for many years going forward. But it's not the only such area, and there's a lot of good examples out there that people can 